I welcome you to the tutorial video for how to create a virtual fence. In the next minutes I will show you how to create a polygon in Google Earth and load this polygon to the GPS Plus X software. Then we will create a virtual fence schedule and load all our creations to our color. Finally, we will do some configurations to make your color work according to your instructions. Enjoy the video. So first of all, we open Google Earth and type in the area of our interest. In our example, I want to know when the animal is inside the city area of Berlin. So to create a polygon, we press new polygon and set some posts to define the area. I do not use more than 15 posts if your color is already in the field and you want to send the virtual fence remotely. So we give the polygon a name and press OK. I will add another polygon to show you how to create a virtual fence with multiple polygons. So I define another area. Press new polygon and also set the posts like before. Give it a name and press OK. Now we have our two places. If you want, you can add more as shown before. The next step is to save the places as KML files to any directory on your computer. And it is important to save them as KML files because this is the format which is compatible to our GPS Plus X software. And we save both files separately, both as KML. So that's it on Google Earth and we can close it and open GPS Plus X. Now connect your collar. In our case, it's a Vertex Plus collar and it will appear in the device list as you can see. Then we go to configurations and virtual fence polygon. And here we can import the files which we just created. We choose the first file and see the fence collection and right after we can open the other file and now we see the complete fence collection on the screen and also we see the inside point the cross inside the fence it defines the area of interest in our case the animal is normally outside of the fence and i want to know when it enters the city area so the point must be inside if your animal is normally inside of the fence, like in a national park, for example, and you want to know when it leaves the area, put the point outside. For this, we change the coordinates like this. We save our virtual fence collection for documentation. And now important, we have to press apply to send the fence collection to the collar. And now we can go on to the next step to create a virtual fence schedule. Therefore, we go to schedules and virtual fence. And we see that for now there is no schedule, so we create a new one. And the default one takes a fix every two hours. Uh, let's say we want to take it more frequently. So I set it down to every 30 minutes. And now we change the start date and the end date of the schedule. For the start date, I choose the 1st January 2000. And for the end date, I change the year to 2030. So we can be sure that the schedule will be active during our next color session. We save it for documentation and press apply to send it to the collar. Now we go on to the last step to activate the virtual fence mode. For this, we go to configuration and user configuration. And here we scroll down to virtual fence. 
and activate the mode. I set it to on and message on enter. That means that I receive a message via email or SMS when the animal is located inside of the area. I press apply to load it to the collar and reload to check. And now all work is done. If the animal will enter one of the polygons, we will receive a message and the collar will take a fix every 30 minutes. That's it. I hope you learned something and thank you for watching.